What's up, everybody? Go Burns launching a brand new Mafia 3 series. Why, you ask? Well, because Giovanni wants me to do more Mafia 3 videos. So I spent the past day or so brainstorming, trying to come up with an idea for a Mafia 3 series that I could do that wouldn't feel like clickbait, that wouldn't feel like I'm trying to whore myself out for those awesome YouTube dollars. Well, in my case, it's more like YouTube sense. <laughs> anyway, so the idea I had is a backstory series. And we're gonna go over some other backstories eventually regarding Vito, Sal Marcano, New Bordeaux, but first we're gonna kick things off with the protagonist himself, Lincoln Clay. Bear in mind, we're gonna go over what we know so far, according to the two Mafia 3 trailers, other information that has come out. So most of this is about what we know thus far, with a teeny tiny amount of speculation, but hopefully not too much on my part. And if I do speculate too much, I'm just trying to connect dots, and maybe those dots go nowhere, or maybe they end up going somewhere. So let's get to it, shall we? Lincoln Clay, the protagonist of Mafia 3, was apparently born in New Bordeaux. He is a biracial orphan, meaning that one of his parents is probably white, the other black. We don't know what happened to his parents. Did they die tragically? Did one of them die tragically in childbirth? Maybe his mom? It's also possible that his parents or his mother gave up Lincoln because of the fact that he was the product of an interracial relationship, which was very frowned upon in the 1940s, which is where I'm guessing he was born somewhere in the 40s, probably mid to late 40s. We'll talk about why I believe Lincoln Clay was born in the 40s in just a moment. But first, let's discuss his early life because we know very little about the first few years of Lincoln Clay's life, except for the fact that at some point he was in a Catholic orphanage. Now, was he there from day one, shortly after he was born? Or did he get dropped off there sometime later, maybe a few months or a couple of years after his birth? That's another mystery that we still don't know. But we do know this. The Catholic orphanage that Lincoln was at was considered to him to be his first actual home, his first family, until it shut down. Now, after it shut down, it's possible that either Lincoln Clay was a foster kid or he might have been adopted or he ended up with Sammy Robinson. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But what we do know is that whenever he was old enough, probably about 18, he enlisted in the United States Army to go off and fight in the Vietnam War for several years. And that's where he learned all of his combat skills, hand-to-hand -hand combat, melee weapons, firearms, stealth, explosives, and when he was discharged from service in 1968, which is why I believe that Lincoln Clay was born either in the mid 40s or the late 40s. That way he would have been old enough in the mid 60s or early 60s in order to go off and fight in the Vietnam War. So he's probably in his early 20s, maybe mid 20s, by 1968 when he returns from the Vietnam War to New Bordeaux and of course to Sammy Robinson, the leader of the Black Mob. And I believe that before the war, Sammy was actually Lincoln Clay's adopted father because it seems very apparent that they have some history if you go by the One Way Road trailer, that they're very happy to see Clay, Sammy, and of course Ellis, which is Sammy's actual son, and everyone else that was at Sammy's bar that greeted Lincoln when he returned home from the war. Bear in mind, this is obviously speculation on my part, but I believe that there is history with Lincoln Clay, Sammy, and Ellis, and I think that's because for a time, Lincoln Clay actually lived with the Robinsons, and Sammy may have actually been Lincoln Clay's adopted father. Now, I could be completely wrong about that, but once again, if we go by the emotional scenes in the trailer, which shows Lincoln with Sammy and Ellis at the bar, you can tell that there's some sort of very strong bond and relationship between Lincoln Clay and the Robinsons. 
So some time, I believe, passes, maybe not much time, a few weeks or a month or so, after Lincoln Clay has returned from the Vietnam War to New Bordeaux, to Sammy's, before Sal Marcano shows up and wipes out the black mob, including Sammy, Ellis, and leaving Lincoln Clay for dead. Now, the big mystery is why did the Marcano crime family decide to take down Sammy Robinson and the black mob? Because it seemed like they had some sort of friendship leading up to the betrayal, that there was some sort of alliance or truce between the Italian mob and the black mob. Whatever the case may be, the betrayal by the Italian mob led by Sal Marcano, wiping out the black mob, including Sammy Robinson and Ellis, leaving Lincoln Clay for dead, has serious ramifications on the story of Mafia 3. But Lincoln Clay was rescued in the fires of Sammy's bar by the priest who was obviously also friends with Lincoln Clay as well as the Robinson family. I don't know if he had direct ties to the black mob, but there was obviously a relationship there between Lincoln Clay, the priest, and the Robinsons. So the priest comes in, rescues Lincoln Clay from being burned alive at the bar, he tends to him, takes care of him, takes him out to the bayou where no one can find him. Some time passes, probably a few weeks or a few months. It's very possible that Lincoln Clay was in a coma because he was nearly fatally shot in the head by Sal Marcano's son. Eventually, Lincoln Clay does wake up, but he is left physically and emotionally scarred by the ordeal. What transpired at Sammy's bar along with his history of never quite fitting in, always looking for a place to belong, as well as what he most likely went through and experienced in the Vietnam War, has molded Lincoln Clay into a very strong-minded individual, a leader, but at the same time, damaged. Very similar to John Rambo in First Blood. And I was watching that again a few weeks ago. I started seeing parallels between John Rambo played, of course, by Sylvester Stallone and Lincoln Clay. Now, I could be completely off base there, but I get the feeling that John Rambo might be an inspiration of sorts for Lincoln Clay because they both fought in the Vietnam War. They're both battle-hardened soldiers. They're probably both badasses, obviously, and they both eventually left the war. And I think even before the war, they both may have had some issues, reasons for going off to fight the war in order to find themselves, figure out who they are, what they're meant to do. So I think that there may be some comparisons there between Lincoln Clay and John Rambo. Now, if you disagree with me about that, let me know below in the comment section. Back on topic. So Lincoln Clay is now recovering from nearly being killed by Sal Marcano's son and left for dead, rescued, of course, by the priest. He has now plotted revenge against the Sal Marcano crime family. Now, the priest encourages Lincoln Clay to simply kill Sal Marcano and be done of it, but that's not enough for Lincoln Clay. He wants to do more. He wants to bring down the Sal Marcano crime family piece by piece. And in order to do that, he forms an unlikely alliance with three other crime bosses. Cassandra, who leads the Haitians, Burke, who leads the Irish, and of course, the leader of the rebel Italians, Vito Scaletta, the protagonist of Mafia 2. So he forms this alliance with those three in order to take down Sal Marcano. Now, some other interesting things about Lincoln Clay that I've noticed from the trailers is first off, he likes to obviously wear his army fatigues. Now, this could actually be a style that Lincoln Clay prefers, or it simply could be just for the trailers. For example, it's very possible that we'll have some customization options for Lincoln Clay, which could include various wardrobe options for you to choose from. That way, you can make Lincoln Clay look the way you want him to be. You could go with the army fatigues, or perhaps you can get him with a nice sweet leather jacket and some jeans. You can make Lincoln Clay look the way you want with the different uh, hairstyles, maybe even different facial hair perhaps. Or perhaps he's wearing the army fatigues for a reason because he's gone back to war. 
this time against the Sal Marcano crime family. Then again, green might just be his favorite color. Another thing that Lincoln Clay obviously likes is muscle cars. We see him in at least two or three different muscle cars from both the reveal trailer as well as the one-way road trailer and some of the screenshots that have been released from Mafia 3. So it's pretty apparent that Lincoln Clay is really into muscle cars and that doesn't make him bad in my opinion. Lincoln also likes to carry around a few items from the Vietnam War, such as his trusty combat knife, which probably came in handy a time or two. While he was at war, he also carries around his dog tags because he identifies himself as a soldier. And the third item you see him with in both the trailers is his Zippo lighter, which means obviously he likes to smoke and it was probably very useful for starting a campfire and it's quite useful if you happen to have some Molotov cocktails on hand. Now the last thing I want to talk about is Lincoln Clay's beliefs. Now that can come from being raised in a Catholic orphanage, the fact that New Orleans, the real life version of New Bordeaux, is heavily influenced by Catholicism that is the major religion down there. And of course they celebrate Mardi Gras, for example, and Lent, Ash Wednesday. So it's very possible that Lincoln Clay was raised as a Catholic, especially since he lives in New Bordeaux and was raised at the Catholic orphanage. Other factors that may play into Lincoln Clay's beliefs is his time in the US Army and fighting in Vietnam. But it's also possible that Lincoln Clay might be into voodoo, especially after what happened to Sammy and Ellis at the hands of the Sal Marcano crime family. Now, obviously one of his friends is a Catholic priest, so there probably is some Catholic influence there for Lincoln Clay, but he wants revenge. He wants to bring down the Marcono crime family. The fact that Cassandra is a Haitian and Haitians in New Orleans do practice voodoo. And another tidbit is in the reveal trailer in Lincoln Clay's muscle car happens to be this bobblehead. Now this could be a gift from Cassandra. Perhaps she's having some sort of influence on Lincoln Clay spiritually or perhaps even romantically. I guess we'll find out eventually. And it's also possible that the bobblehead happened to come with the car. Whatever the case may be, we will learn more about Lincoln Clay in Mafia 3 coming October 7th to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC.